Thames FC. A club born from the ashes of Thames AFC. A team you quite possibly have never heard of. A London-based team situated in the east of the city, unsurprisingly not far from the river. They were formed in 1928 and dissolved in 1932 and used West Ham Stadium, which I clarify right now has no connection to West Ham United, although we shall be considering them local rivals, hopefully. They were founded to fill the stadium on weekends that ordinarily was used for greyhound racing and speedway, but the thing that made it interesting was that it had 120,000 people as its capacity. Something, well, they never filled, but we could one day, once we're the biggest club in London, England, the world, Okay, that might be a stretch too far in these early stages. Now, first things first, we're going to have to relocate. Housing was built over the old ground, so we're moving slightly west to the recreational ground. And that is where we will take place. The riverbank will be our home, and this is the land in which we'll play on. Seas of green for miles around until you hit that road where the bus goes. But first things first, this is where we're going to start our journey. And it isn't on the pitch. You know what? You're exactly what we're looking for. You've got the ability. You've got the look. You know, you've got the knowledge. I think you'll fit in perfectly to our new network. You're hired. Excellent. <laughs> when, when do I start? Couple of weeks. We'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Great. No, it's absolutely great. Back, back to you in the studio. <laughs> Next. Welcome to FM TV. My name is Joe. Next. I didn't think you'd actually show up. I thought you were working as a trainee chef for Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, well, was. Well, we have a sports desk. Is that the position you'll be applying for? Of course, sports is my middle name. Wait, Ben Sports News is your real name? Yeah, but Mr. News sounds so informal. Yeah, Ben Sports News is way more informal. <laughs> That's what I thought. Anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? Uh, name. What do you mean, name? Ben. <laughs> no way, me too. Wow, I never knew we had so much in common. Yeah. <laughs> Was this absolutely necessary? I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't know how this is going to help me get the job. Oh, it won't. It's just nice to see someone else wearing it for a change. Anyway, look, if we think you're the right man for the news job, uh, we'll be in touch soon as. Do you have any more applicants today? As it happens, uh, yeah, we do. One more. Uh, Kenneth. You're gonna hire someone called Kenneth? What's wrong with Kenneth? It's just not a very modern name, is it? Like Levi or Hugo or of Noah. Well, I've been working in my local news team for a long time now, and I, I thought a step up in sports network would be the, the right thing for me. I've always thought my ability on screen is more important than the name off it. Ken, good afternoon. Thank you for auditioning. Uh, if you just want to take a seat, Mr. News, if we, again, if we need you, we'll be in touch. My God. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's Ben Sports News. Ben, Ben, we'll, we'll grab a quick word of him now. Of course, you've worked with Dr. Ben GFM before. Do you think that's going to help with chances in the interviews? Of course. Yeah, I think the relationship between us will be a factor. Back to you in the studio. Studio? Mark Rowe reporting for Thames Telly. Back, back to you in the studio. Now, I've got to say, Kenneth, your CV is really quite something. I mean, you've done live events, you've done on-field events, you've done off-field events, you've done web shows, you've done radio shows. Uh, is there any limits to your talents? I'm sure if there are, you'll help me surpass them, Ben. You've networked with local teams, local players, dinner ladies. And to round it off, the amount of charity work you've done is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, subscribing to that many channels, considering the videos. I mean, unbelievable. I know, I know. S sometimes I can't believe it myself. It's the sort of commitment I can get behind. Well, honestly, Ken, I don't think there's much need for you to, uh, for you to audition. That's, that's as good as it's going to get, probably. <laughs> From everything I've read about you, and frankly, you know, you're the most handsome chap who's walked through the door today, Ken. So taking all of that into account, if you want the job... As lead sports anchor, it's yours. It'd be an absolute pleasure to represent yourself and Thames FC. Oh, I'm getting quite emotional here, actually. Hello folks, welcome to another series on the channel, Thames FC is the team, and whether this is your first series or your tenth, hopefully you'll enjoy the ride. We start off as a semi-professional side in the Bostic Football League Division 1 South. 
we'll have to come up with a nickname, I think. As mentioned in the intro, we'll be playing at the Riverbank Stadium, which has a capacity of 1,200 people and 500 seats. We don't have undersaw heating and we don't have a roof. And from the pictures we saw, we only really have a pitch. Although it will be interesting to see how a football manager treat us in terms of that. We are very average, in terms, but there'll be questions about it, I'm sure. We are very average in terms of where we sit amongst the rest of the teams in the division. As a newly formed team, we have no players uh, of real life to begin with, but we do have a couple of boys in our ranks. And you can see straight away four players in particular that have got some ability to them. That said, and if you know anything about the lower leagues of football manager, this, this, this here means very little <laughs> so facility wise we are at sort of the ones and twos uh in terms of what you can have for training and facilities and things like this and you'll see here from dominic taylor who is quote unquote our best player um he's he's okay he's okay for this to he can't tackle can't tackle uh, doesn't uh, balance is is no there's no there's there's no balance that's gonna be fun the big thing really is that he's not got a contract so he could be gone. He's wanted already. We've oh, literally only just begun. And Corinthian casuals have popped up. Now, I will give you a quick look at the team. We've also got Sam Barker, who is a decent attacking midfielder. And I must say, all our good players are in attack. Dean Thorne's another one who plays in a forward area. He's actually quite good for the division. Not too bad. I'll, I'll give you a comparison, actually. Let's let's go for a random team and a random player. We'll go to Corinthian casuals. Uh, and Josh Ikim is their best ship player. You can see he's not too bad. We're, we're sort of middled out in terms of who we've got compared to some other sides. Uh, I imagine Lewis have got some decent players because uh, he can do tackling and passing, which is rare for this division. And when we look at the season preview, you can see we sit at 900 to 1, which... That's not the favourites. Now, I will be making some transfers, and next episode will focus upon the new players we've brought in. So I don't want you to get too familiar with the team we've got right now. Lots of these players will hopefully remain. Uh, we've got some good names in there, I think it's fair to say. Dillis Millington. I just I just like everything about it. But we will see how these boys get on as we progress through the ranks. Let's look a little bit more, though, at the team uh, and the situation we've got ourselves in. So you can see, generally, we have some local rivals in Thamesmead and West Ham. Uh, the average ticket price is at £8 per ticket. A uh, season ticket is £100. 57 of those, 57. That I've, I've got more people supporting on Patreon. Does that look like me? Does it? I'm not, it's not, it's not an annoyingly viewers. It's not a million miles away, is it? He's got a better facial hair than me. Facilities, you can see then, 1,200. The riverbank will be our ground. Uh, the stadium condition is okay. We've got poor training facilities, poor youth facilities, fairly basic junior coaching, limited youth recruitment. As I said before, we are starting down the bottom we do have a perfect pitch but not that that will mean anything really in terms of the financials we are at seven thousand as an overall balance with a wage budget of 204 pounds uh, available to us and a bit of a scouting budget which i don't think we'll be able to use anything of really i don't know what you can get for ten thousand pounds in terms of scouting but considering we're a new team that's that, i feel like that is quite generous i will say if you're interested in this database the, the kits or the badges or anything like that links to the guys that created those in the description down below maybe they'll do something for you there's some pressure boys good luck so the objective of this save is of course to battle our way up from the bottom to the top tier eight as things now there's still room to go down there's a few of it it's a tier 10 database we could get relegated but hopefully that won't be the case and of course if you've seen my series before you know that we do it we, i'm not a serious football manager player that if, again if you're if you're new that that'll become evident very quickly if you've been here before that's not a surprise but it should be good of course we had a say very similar to this the Salford story that went down really well people really enjoyed it and i think starting from a lower tier spot in england and battling our way up through the divisions is something i really enjoy doing i hopefully enjoy watching and um yeah we've got some characters along the way as well which should make it fun hopefully that's something you'll, you'll get behind as well and you'll enjoy um and really, there's not much to go through here. We've got responsibility still with a welcome from the chairman. Shall we talk? I don't even know. We've, we've been given a... Bill, Billy Curry. Okay. Right, we'll attend the meeting with Billy Curry. He's our chairman, our, our given chairman. Uh, welcome to the river. That's the nickname of the club. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome you. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate that. BC are his initials. In, in, they're my initials. Thames FC might be a young club. They, they might... Can I have a review of the history? I would love. I would love a review of the history. There is. There is no. There is. There is no history. This is a new. This is a new team. I want to see what they say. 
Uh, yeah, I'd like to meet the journalists. I think that's always useful. Right, thanks for the introduction. Uh, I hope to have a long success. Glenn, Glenn Emerton, who's got very fancy hair for a, for a staff member. Hi, Doctor. Good to see you. Uh, that'd be confusing with the physios. Uh, I'm Glenn, uh, Glenn Emerton, your assistant manager. I've got some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day running of the team. Thank you, Glenn. Welcome. Glenn and Ben. That's a dream team. Right, yeah, give me a, give me a summary. Uh, of what you think might be best. I don't I don't need to meet the other staff. Speaking of other staff, just briefly. Right, Bill, Billy's done for a moment. Let's just look at the other staff. Mm, there's not a lot of us. There, there's me, Glenn, Chris, and Tony. And that's it. I'm on nearly £600 a week. That isn't going to last very long. Oh, God. If I'm released because we cut... That would be bad. I'm sure a few of you are wondering how you're starting off. I'm a Sunday league footballer. I can speak English. I'm a, I'm a Liverpool supporter. Um, that, that, that's pretty much all we've got going for us right now. Four people immediately hate me, so that's good. And I've got the National Sea Licence, which is pretty much the lowest you can get. Press, yet to experience a press conference. That makes it sound like a roller coaster. Now, it says I'm 26 here. Uh, on, on September the 1st, I will age. So that's good. Much like every year, Ben. Right. We've got to see. We've got to see this. A background. Right. Courts. I'll read it out. Founded in 2017, Thames are a semi-professional English club playing in the Bostic Football League Division 1 South. We've, we need a new name. The club play their home games at the Riverbank and possess poor training facilities and poor youth facilities. The club also has fairly basic junior coaching and a limited youth recruitment network. The club is affectionately known as the River and retains fierce rivalry with Thames Mead Town and West Ham United. With no real competition history of note, the River are a club with a trophy cabinet waiting to be filled. Well... Yes, I could have written that history. I don't know why I asked for it. Right, apparently the strengths of the squad so far is that we've got a team full of leaders and strong characters, just like this series. An aggressive and committed squad. Terrifying. I will I will note there are more weaknesses than there are strengths. And do you remember, this is all relative. Like, these players' ability and potential is relative to the rest of the squad. For example, our only goalkeeper, Barry Kavanagh, is... What? He's 26 with half a star potential... But he's actually pretty good. It wasn't one of the names I clicked on before clicking record. Barry Cavan. He's got a 15... Mm, mm. Wait, are they, are they all good down here? Andy, are you any good? N no, Andy's not so good. What about Eric in the middle? Is he decent? With six passing. He's a ball He's a ball winner with three tackling, folks. Oh, boy. Johnny Williams, leader of men. We haven't got any... Set Have we got a set-piece specialist? That's our best right-back. Oh, no. Got some work to do. Next episode, we'll we'll go through the team, shall we? I can only really get free contracts, but and actually speaking of contracts, nobody's contracted. Mm. And that then brings us to the end of episode one, where I'm realising this is going to be tricky. If you enjoyed the episode, do leave a like. Hopefully you enjoyed the intro at the start and you'll be seeing things similar to that every day. Uh, this this series will be uploaded every single weekday, 5pm every single weekday, much like the old series. So come back tomorrow and I'll see you for it. And that brings us to the end then. We'll love with care. If we Until next time, if you enjoyed the video, as I say, do leave a like. If you want to see some more and join me on this journey, subscribe to the channel. We'll love with care. Goodbye. Is it too early to have regrets? Is it too early? And there we are then. Episode 1 is in the bag. And you can check me out on Twitter, Facebook, as well as some other platforms, Twitch and Snapchat. I'm too old for Snapchat. I don't really know what's going on with Snapchat, if I'm honest. If you want to get involved and spot on Patreon, there is a link in the description. I'll leave it up to you. And I think to celebrate a new series, let's give away a copy of Football Manager. Uh, there is a link in the description down below. Retweet that tweet, give it a follow, and uh, you'll be entered into the giveaway for the game if you're interested. Goodbye!